Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Maru Carmi Chronicles. Today I come to you bay-faced and with messy hair and um, that's just because I need a break from all of the superficial. Um, I just... I've been pushing back this video for literally two weeks because um, I don't want to do my makeup so today I thought I would do my uh, current reads slash update and all of that and TBR for the month of April. Alright so let's get into it shall we? Um, wow this hair is a mess. <laughs> Anyways um, let me first tell you what I actually read in April so far. Um, we're on the uh, 8th of April, so I read a couple of things. Um, I'm just gonna read them from my trusty little book. Uh, first, I read Vampires, Cones, and Edmund Arendelle, which is a story in the Bane Chronicles. Uh, this one I finished was My Name is Venus Black by Heather Lloyd, which is an arc from Random House. So I will leave the information and the cover right here so you can see. Um, next, uh, yesterday I finished um, More, that you, More Than We Can Tell by Bridget uh, Kimmerer, I think is her name. I will again leave the information so you know what I'm talking about. Those are the three books I finished in the month already. Um, let me talk to you about the things uh, otherwise that we're going to be reading um, from uh, as Harks. There's a couple of things I need to read. Um, sooner rather than later. Uh, the first one being I've Got This Round by Ming Wu Hart. I, I've got the audiobook um, on Audible because I cannot read the physical one on my Kindle so I will be reading the audio. Measurements of Decay by KK Eden. Um, I know this is sci-fi. Uh, <laughs> I have Emergency Contact by Murray H.K. Choi. Um, which I have already started. I'm 25% into it. Um, I will keep on reading it throughout the month. Woman of Resist Resistance. I don't know how to say that correctly in English. Oh wow, my cat is saying hello. Um, anyways, uh, Pretty Boy Must Die by Kimberly Reed. Next is Big Water by Andrea Curtis. I'll get out and I don't know the... Um, author. I don't remember it. So those are some of the arcs that I really want to finish uh, before the end of uh, winter, which is already done. Uh, by the end of April, I wish to have read all of these books. It's not gonna happen. I am in my finals. But still, uh, just letting you know, those are on my TBR. They might or they might not happen. Who knows? Um, next, let's talk about uh, physical books. Um, I have Aniria by uh, Patrick Senecal, which is a uh, author here from Quebec that's very, very popular. Um, and he writes horror. It's not my favorite type of genre, but it's one of my boyfriend's favorite books, so I'm gonna try to read it this month. This is a cover. And next is The Goblet of Fire by, by J.K. Rowling, the fourth book in the Harry Potter series. Uh, yeah, I am still into this book halfway through exactly and um, I'm scared to finish it because I know what happens. Um, there's not really a reason for me not to finish it just because I'm not really in a fantasy mood but I really want to finish this because I haven't touched it almost at all in March so I need to at least like finish it during this month. There's only um, 300, 300 pages left I think so I should be able to do this. I also started The Paper Menagerie by um, Ken Liu, which is a collection of short stories. I've tapped them. I am currently on the fourth um, story. It's so far really good. I think I gave all of the stories really high ratings so far, so I don't know why I haven't picked it up. I think it's because I'm in the contemporary mood, so sci-fi is not really uh, doing it for me either, but we're gonna try at least. And finally, it's a couple of um, trades that I really want to try to get into. Um, first off, as you can see, it's the uh, Giant Days trades. I've got the 5th, uh, 6th, and 7th volumes 
Um, I just need to read this. Um, I don't know why I've, I haven't been enjoying them as much as before, but I feel like the arc went a weird way and I think it's coming back to a better place, but um, I'm gonna see and try to read those. Um, next it's Reggie and Me, because uh, I read the first issue and I really enjoyed it, so I wanted to know what was going on with it. So we're gonna see. Lemma Jane's volume 8. Yeah, uh, Stone Cold. Again, it's just, it's not budget. It's awesome, and I can read that in like 30 minutes, so that's always fun. And the second volume of the uh, Gotham Academy second semester series, which is the Ballad of Olive Silverlock. I just haven't caught up with the series here, I really want to, because they're really fun, and it's probably the only fantasy I read now, so I like it. So yeah, that's it for uh, the things I really want to read this month um, and the things I'm currently reading. Uh, I don't know. I just, I'm in a weird mood. I'm in, I'm in a weird place. So I'm either reading like 3,000 million pages a day or not at all. So uh, that's it for my uh, current reads. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please let me know down below what you're currently reading or uh, what are your plans for this month and if you have read any of the books I mentioned, please let me know what you thought of them down below. So have a very lovely day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!